We've been working on a video assessment trial at the Meadowbank Carpentry section. And here's some of the evidence to suggest this could be investigated further to possibly be used. Uh, quickly, for an understanding within Microsoft Teams, we've completed all of the assessments for stage one. They're sitting in drafts at the moment for this instance. I've highlighted the areas that could possibly be completed on their phone, which is something that we're going to discuss at a later date. It has highlighted when we assigned all the activities or the assessments to the students, rather than using the Wi-Fi and the computers, the laptop trolley, instead they've been using their phone, which is actually quite interesting. And you can see how that all of the students have actually been using, well, not all of them, but quite a few. All right. So this, the assessments are sitting in draft as per the learning bank or as per the product group assessments. We've assigned the first assessment, which was completed yesterday, ready to grade. I've returned a few, and we did that in the workshop with video feedback and talking with the students, which worked really well. You can see in the middle, for this example, one of the students, the rubric is there to access, and I'll show you how it works in a moment. Below that, where the arrow is, there's the video feedback, which is a prompt you can, little. there's a little button that you can use to video your feedback with the students. This short clip will assist in explaining that. Alright Adam, so I'm talking to Benny. So we've just completed an assessment. So if you look here, he's gone, he's participated in your toolbox talk. He's done his swims, his socks, conducted safety checks. Now he's replaced all the blades for the cutters and the search and the saw, grinders, sharpening his tools, clean up the work area, right? So that's confidence. Now there's also a video, right? The video I'll show later today. So you're done. That's done. I'm going to upload the video, which is already recorded, the rest of you on that one, right? Upload that. Okay, so now I'm going to return it to you, mate. So that's going to get uploaded as evidence. Let's wait for it to in. So you can see that now in Teams, on your phone. Okay, now for clarity, I've used a different video, but if you do go in there where the students have uploaded the video or the teachers uploaded it, here's an example of the video feedback. Okay, I've just opened up one of the students' assessments. Completion of project A1, tools and equipment. I go to the rubric and I could just tap across for all the items that they've achieved satisfactory. This is as per the assessment. Grinding, taking off the blades and so forth. Down the bottom, we've already completed, they did it in a group and they worked together while the teacher was watching him and helping him. I'm going to tap on that video. Okay. What's your name? Brendan. 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 Yes. Keen Edmund. Keen. Ben Rose. Ben Rose. Ben Rose. Ben Rose. Yes. Keen Edmund. Keen. Ben Rose. And boys, this is project assessment A1, tools and equipment. What are you actually being done? You're changing blades? Yeah. Circular saw blades? Yeah. Round blades? Yeah. Uh, the simple blade blades? Yeah. Finding this? Yes. Uh, not set clean blades? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the drop saw? Uh, the drop yeah. saw, yeah. And then I believe you've been finishing, you did that before, and you're running, running your chisels. Right. Yeah. But how'd they go? Yeah. Well, you're confident to see a cheese? Yes. Alright. Okay, I'll just go back and then that's a competency achieved for that assessment. Great work. 
So from that, the students can actually get the notifications on their phone. And I also get a notification on their watch, which is something, a lot of them have got these watches now, so it's, it's awesome. I've got a couple other snapshots. For example, Ben completed a, just a marking out exercise to work on their hand skills. And you can, instead of any video feed, but you can also just upload a photo. And we have another example of a student there. I hope this helps. Thanks, everyone.